Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Before we get back into it, as you know, we are sponsored by Jose Cuervo. Cuervo is the original tequila, and it's all about fast-forwarding friendships. I fast-forward all of my friendships with Cuervo. It's 100% agave tequila. Unbelievable. It's the best. They're a great sponsor, and we're happy to be a part of their little family. Cuervo shots are the best for high-energy nights. They got an awesome new tequila that's great for shots. It's called Cuervo Cristalino. And it's our go-to. I saw Will ripping some Cuervo Cristalino shots at the Almost Friday comedy event. Yeah, I'm guilty. Guilty. I had to. I was having too much fun. Yeah, okay. You know we love to have a few cold ones. Sure. Fuck. You got us, okay? But when you really want to set the weekend in motion and you need a shot of tequila, we're really into this new Cuervo Cristalino. It tastes insane. Thank you to Cuervo. And a quick word from another one of our sponsors, Babel. Get started right now with 55% off your Babbel subscription. For our listeners, go to babbel.com slash Friday. That's 55% off at B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Friday. Rules and restrictions may apply. You can start speaking a language in just three weeks. Go try it out. Let's get into the episode. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. <laughs> Higher and higher. I want to get higher with you. I want to get higher with his number. Emily, so Emily just shit her pants. Jeremy spoke Spoken. Spoken. Taylor Swift's in town. Yeah, you going to go? Yeah, no, uh, and no wonder my hips been throbbing all weekend. Could you imagine? Feels like what the weather. So we're just having a little bit of fun, trying to keep the mood light. I know things are a little tense in here. Yeah, things are... Everybody's on edge. Everybody's... Uh... Are you... I feel like you would have gone to the Taylor Swift concert. I know, but I'm just so not into that. I what? like used to listen to her old music, but I have not listened to a song of hers in years. Why not? Well, uh, just, it's just not my style, and I just think... Yeah, it's just not. I listen to like R and B and like rap. Who are you listening to the most right now? Um, like SZA, Bryson Tiller, people like that. Yeah, I know it's weird. I look like those I'm aren't basic. real names. What is that? Those, those are, are people. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they aren't. Remember Bryson Tiller was like, "Don't, <laughs> don't." That's it. Yeah. Right. What is that? It's like don't play with it. Don't be dishonest. Oh, that. Yeah. 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 Did you? What's that Taylor Swift music video where she's like talking to the boy with the signs? You belong with me. I feel like you. That's definitely, like the last time I. I was gonna say I feel like you definitely watched that on repeat, teared <laughs> up. Oh, a hundred percent. You gave me this look like you were about to interject, so I paused. Oh no. I just got, I got, I got. We're out of sync today. Yeah, I got confused. What the hell? You know what it is? It's this new seating arrangement. It's the 5G. Where is the love? Where is the love? Black Eyed Peas. I'm a big Black Eyed Peas fan. Love the Peas. Peed. I love how Emily sat us down yesterday and was like, you guys have to be more organized. And this is what we're coming in out of the gates with. Yeah. No, it, I think it's going well so far. How was your weekend? <laughs> um what was that look at him how was your weekend that's his smile he does it's he starts he's smiling more. my weekend was good i met a new friend and she invited me out with her friends this weekend and i had a great time what'd you guys do fuck um <laughs> no, we did not fuck that's we went not, out now what i said oh my god and then i don't want to say much on the matter but i Met, I matched with this guy on a dating app years and years ago when I used to intern here. Mm-hmm. Used to intern here? <laughs> I used to intern in LA, uh, I mean. Um, and I like fully just randomly last weekend remembered his existence. So I texted him, he answered right away. And we ne- had never met. We were like texting for years on and off. Finally met him this past weekend. And he was like a hot stud. It was Edge. <laughs> catfishing <laughs> i don't want to say much more on the matter at this current moment we got drunk as skunks this weekend i got drunker than a skunk and the why truth wasn't is I out there 
We got drunk. You, we did invite you. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Swear in my fucking life, when would you have ever invited me? I said it to you and you said I'm busy. You did not. I did. When? On, over text? No, in person here at the office. It's Maybe it seemed like you weren't listening, honestly. Maybe I should have repeated myself. You should have repeated yourself because I would have said yes. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you're gaslighting. I didn't invite you. You didn't invite no. her? Dude, that's awesome. I was like wondering, God, God I was wondering ass. to myself, like if I had a penis, Whoa. I feel like I'd be so much invited to so many more things here. No. No, no, this is very anti-trans. Yeah. yeah. No, if I was a guy. Oh. Oh. Eh. I'd be, I would have been invited if I was a guy. No, it's not that. It has nothing to do with like your body. So what did it have to do with? You're just not wanting me there? I guess. I guess just like off the top of my head, like yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, it's kind of like the. the uh, it was kind of like. Oh, uh, what's his fucking name? You're just trying to make excuses on why you didn't invite me when you know you're in the wrong. Considering we've all uh, said that we sh- should hang out outside of work. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm in the wrong for not inviting you, but I sh- I would if I had thought of it, I I would have. That's really nice. I believe you. Yeah. Sorry, bitch. Sorry, Liam. You've also never invited us to any fun activities. Boom. And you got to make I know because you guys boom. don't go out. This was like the first time I've ever seen you guys go out in ages. Well, I had to because my sister was in town. Yeah. I went because it was my friend Jack Martin's birthday when I was there to celebrate him. And I was. Oh, that's why I wasn't invited. Only people that can get me out of bed. Jack Martin. Tucker Carlson. Yep. Only two people that I'll perk my little ears up for on the weekend. Yeah, that's why I don't ask you to hang out. It was, why? Wow. Because you won't you won't get out of bed and to hang out with. I'll go. I'll go out. That's our, th- but we have our. We like to do different things than you. Like. What What do you like to do that's different than what I like to do? Like I'll like I'm more of a you know a dive bar type of dude. I'm okay with that. I don't like doing coke at four a.m. and giving blowjobs. Yeah, I don't that's like. That's not really I don't my type do, of fun. I don't do. I don't cocaine. like. I don't like trading. Pictures of my feet for, you know, whatever the hot new drug is Mm -hmm. on the street. I don't do drugs. I don't even keep up with that junk. I don't want to do, like, Molly and then get in the steam room until I'm, like, about to pass out. I've never done Molly. It just doesn't seem, like, fun for me. It's like, I want to relax. Yeah. You like to work hard and play hard. You do. We don't play hard. But I... My my Saturday night... Go ahead. Sorry. Proceed. Reading. Reading my novels. Reading my books. I feel like you guys say you don't like going out. At least Will does. And then you uh, like dive bars are just as fun as like I don't like really go clubbing. Yeah, but you want to go to like David Dobrik's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. No, that's like a once in a while type of deal. Like I'll go to that shit like every once in a while. God, I mean, it's that's good. not something I aim to do every single weekend. It's honestly for the best that you didn't join us because we were shit faced. It's the drunkest I've been in a while. It's the drunkest I've seen Tyler ever. Ever, yeah. Um, and then, um, I dude, I remember I checked my phone. I thought it was going to be like 11.30. It was like one forty-five. Yeah. yeah. It was, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I, uh, yeah, I, I haven't texted Jack. I'm, I'm afraid that I probably did something. I probably said something crazy. Probably like. Grabbed a guy in the bathroom or something. Mm-hmm. Shook shook a baby too hard. Yeah. Way too many babies at this party. A lot of infants. Almost everyone had like a baby carrier yeah. thing. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Why are you giving that look? I walked into the bathroom and they had like someone was changing a baby on one of those baby changing sta- stations. Mm-hmm. And I just shut it as hard as I could. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. it was. I like, walked in there. Uh, two dudes just traded babies. Really? I don't even think they remember. So those babies, because they're so drunk, so those yeah. babies are just going to grow up. <sighs> Different yeah. genders. Wow. That's kind of, oh. And I'm only kidding. That didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. But uh, Emily's over there. Emily's over there like this. This party sounds, this party sounds insane. It's freaking crazy, dude. Yeah, I woke up Saturday morning with the worst anxiety of my life. Not of my life, but like, per, like, like, <gasps> But what the fuck have I done type yeah. of thing. I had the type of anxiety where I was like saying stuff to myself. Like I was mad at me. Hmm. And I'd hear, I'd hear my gal in the other side of the house going, what'd you say? And I'm like, nothing, you're crazy, bitch. I didn't say anything. Yeah. 
you're crazy and all your friends you're crazy and you shouldn't listen to any of your friends yeah your, your friends are trying to tear us apart they don't actually like you yeah. they just want you to be unhappy because they're lonely too yeah it's actually a knee-jerk reaction for me yeah just to scream that just be like all your friends are ugly mm-hmm. and hateful well dude i went to huntington beach it's like an hour and a half drive uh another one i wasn't invited to yeah at least chet invited me last time okay. i wasn't there cracked that up and just... yeah and no one cares and we actually ha- threw a party in your absence you're invited to bray improv tomorrow night it's an hour and a half drive <laughs> shows at seven i come to all your shows <laughs> that's not true but uh you're invited i've come to majority you're invi- of your shows you're there. invited uh tomorrow night i don't want to do that okay well don't say i never invite you to stuff do you ever go to the beach and you're really enjoying like the the ambiance but then all of a sudden you listen to someone's conversation for 20 minutes and you want to get up and grab that person by the throat and rip their fucking head off i usually am i'm not i'm not by anyone if i'm at the beach well, it's hard at Venice Beach to find a spot where you're not near anyone, mm-hmm. unless you go away from the water, like kind of far. I just heard I, there's it's like a dog whistle. I hear the word filmmaker, and I'm listening to this person's conversation. And it just bumps me out. Yeah, dude, really sad. If you describe yourself as a filmmaker, I don't know what to tell you. No, I literally heard someone go like, "Well, as a filmmaker myself, here's my perspective on the whole thing," and she was talking about like Leo. And, uh, like, some other A-list celebrity. And I was like... What was she saying about him? It was something about how, like, he's breaking up with chicks when they're 25. But we need that filmmaker perspective on that. I should bury you at the beach. That'd be fun. I want to bury each other. All and three of us? B- dig a big hole so our toes can touch. Mm-hmm. Nobody can see them touching and twiddling. And Emily, you're invited. You're invited to our beach I dig a hole party. I you guys? No. Yeah, well... What? No. <laughs> no. You don't have the muscle mass to dig a hole. <laughs> I was such a hole digger as a child. The hell? I dug all types of holes at the beach. She dig holes under the fence to try to get out in the backyard. Yeah. Dig holes, bury your toys. You would bury your trinkets and stuff, right? Just in case an intruder came. Her parents would come home and she'd just be burying like a squirrel she found <laughs> hiding between her teeth. The only thing I ever remember burying as a child in my yard was me and my friend b- buried sunflower seeds and thought that they would make sunflowers. sunflowers so remember, that's that's logical. Remember on was it your birth? I think it was your birthday. She just showed up and she had like a bunch of dead birds in like mm-hmm. a little grocery bag, mm-hmm. and then just like spilled them onto the floor. It was like these are yours, and I was yeah. like. That's a weird gift for a human to... She said, I had been saving these for the right opportunity. Well, I just wanted you to think of me every time that you... People call me a bird. Have you ever killed an animal? No. Well, like a bug, probably. You never, like, hit something while you're driving? Have you? Shockingly, no. No. Oh, dude, actually, I was... Me and my buddy drove from Fort Worth to... Uh, West Palm Beach, or maybe it's Palm Springs. 30 minutes north of Miami. We drove 25 hours in a row. And uh, when we hit Louisiana at like 4 a.m., a fog rolled in. You couldn't see anything past like 30 yards. And I'll never forget driving and just seeing this giant cat get swallowed (gasps) by the skirt of the car. Like the grill just... Like a house cat? Or like a, a cougar. Uh, it was. It might have been a bobcat, but it seemed like a house cat. I mean, we swall- it swallowed that bitch. My bus driver hit a dog one time. I think I've told you this. That's awesome. It was, and then just denied it. Like it, it was. It wasn't the bus driver's fault by any means. The dog just sprinted at the back of the bus and got like rolled up quick. The dog walked away. I don't know what happened to it after. Damn. It was a big German Shepherd, but we all saw it on the back of the bus. We were like, stop, stop, stop. You just hit a dog. And she said, no, I didn't, and just kept going. We had a bus driver. I wasn't on the bus this day, but he, uh, there was this dog that ran at the bus and like bit, tried to bite the tires, just like crushed his head. And one of the neighbors saw it and just like, gave him a thumbs up as he was driving away. He was like... Would you, if you ran over somebody's animal, would you... 
go knock on their door and tell them. Mm, what kind of animal is it? A dog or cat. Um, I'd probably just like shove it into their mailbox and bounce. Yeah. Like, I'm a busy guy. I'd leave a note. Yeah, if they lived at like one of those like apartment complexes where it was like a mail bunch of mailboxes, I guess I just cut it up and over weeks I would leave pieces in there. I'd grab, I'd walk up and say, "Hey, so who's gonna pay for the grill of my car to get fixed?" Because it's not this thing. Have you ever gotten into a car accident? Uh, I got my brother rear-ended a guy when I was home a couple weeks ago. He just wasn't looking, and I was like, "Stop! Stop! Stop! Fuck, Sean, Sean!" And then he just like it was one mile an hour mm-hmm. and he just tapped this old couple uh your driving spooked me a little bit yesterday i'm not gonna lie to you really you get right up on people oh yeah because i was trying the uh, cruise control on the car oh yeah were it like auto brakes i turned it off pretty quick after i was noticing that too because there was a couple of those where i was like hmm that was that's as close as you can humanly get without an accident yeah no one of the, i noticed that i never drive like that uh, but it, it has, like, the auto brake where it senses it. Dude, the worst driver of all time is my friend, Zach Valencia. He he drives and then talks to you like this. <laughs> He'll tell you a story, and it's it's the scariest thing of all time. He literally just sits there and like this. And he's been in so many accidents. Yeah, he, He's had to go back to, like, aggravated driving school. Oh, my God. That's amazing. My bus driver, uh, after I was long graduated, but uh, he a gun fell out of his pocket. And it slid down the aisle. And is this real? Yeah, this is real. And kids saw it, and he just picked it back up and put it uh, back in his pocket, and uh, he was fired. But he was a good dude. Like, I think he just had the gun uh, in case there was, you know, a school shooting or something. He could. He's a, he's a nice guy. There's definitely nothing, like, malicious about it. But if you're going to, you know. Yeah, that's insane. We had this kid, uh, no joke, brought a diffused grenade to school and i was like you are fucking insane if anyone saw this you would be in prison for a long time (sighs) like 10 years ago and then no one found out i mean it was like a hollowed out grenade but it's like you still don't do that yeah crazy yeah that's not good i was thinking about this the other day it was really weird i walked into a history class one time in high school and this kid in my class who uh on the quieter side didn't know him that well but he had claw marks like a human hand like he had just done this like a hundred times and it was just like red and like cut up like right here you could see like the distinct fingers and i said oh shit man what the fuck happened and he goes uh i have night terrors and i said that's crazy whoa that looks like it hurt man fuck and then he was immediately called down to the office to talk about it and i think he did it for attention and I think he thought it would be cool to tell people that he has night terrors. Mm-hmm. And I think he just did that to himself for like a weird attention thing. Yeah, there's nothing cool about that. Nah. I, you know, I got night, night terrors. I know you have real ones because you, 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 you hit and you claw and you kick. And I scream. I scream. I would I will, not be able to date someone and sleep in the same bed as them if they had that. You don't have an option. <laughs> Woo! Oh, binder, Woo! binder's like, binder's like, get off my fucking ass. Binder's like, yeah, they, they, fine. binder's like, you bastards, you're my friends, but you bastards. Binder's like, come on, I'm gonna come on, I'm gonna get you back. I woke up uh, screaming. My girlfriend once called nine one one. Called nine one one. She should have. What was wrong in your dream? Uh, I don't know. You ever have dreams that you kill people? Not on purpose, but yeah. Yeah, it's always like an accident. Yeah. And then I'm trying to cover it up. And then the relief of waking up and knowing that you haven't murdered someone is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, there's no better feeling of relief. I have those dreams kind of frequently. I had a dream that someone I was very close to turned into like an alien zombie or something. Like uh, like I knew they were possessed and I had to like kill them with a shotgun. It was horrible. Like I knew they, I knew in the dream, I was like, I, I had the proof that they were like, going to like destroy the human race or something. And it was like up to me to save the world. It was awful. That's fucked. And I woke up and I went, oh, that's, I feel better. I feel a little better. So we'll cut that, cut what, that story. What were you going to ask? Oh, I was going to ask if you ever gotten like a teacher fired or just anyone fired at their job. I probably used to get like, I would try to get, 
I remember trying to get my babysitters fired. That's fine. All, all of them. Because yeah. I just never liked having a babysitter. So my parents would get home, and I was like, she shoved shut up my butt. Oh, my God. Did I ever tell you she about the story? She put a spoon in my ass. Did I ever tell you about the story of the kids if I babysat? Were... And it was cold. Say again? Did I ever tell you about the story of the kids I babysat? No. Are you sure about them, like, masturbating? Okay, go on. No. Yeah, <laughs> please. Oh, my God. About them, like, masturbating. I feel I feel so bad, like, saying this story, but no one's ever going to, like... I don't even know their fucking names at this point. Mm-hmm. But um, I was babysitting these kids, four and six years old, two mm-hmm. girls. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, it was just really bad. Um, basically, like, to sum it up... They, Wait, sorry. So, how old were they? And they were... Four and six. And they were... And they both knew what masturbating... Boys? No, they were they were females. They both knew what masturbating was. They've both done it before, and they both have open conversations with Did you tell the parents? It. Yeah, because the mother knew about it. Four uh, and the, six? So the mother... So sh- they brought it up in front of the mom when the mom got home and I was there. And she goes, oh, honey, like, let's talk about that later. It's a private matter. And then I knew she, I knew she knew to never ask me to come back again. And I never was going to come back again because when I was there and it was like happening, I was having a full blown panic attack. I didn't know what to do. Like they were doing it in front of me. They were trying to do it in front of me. What? God. They were like literally like touching themselves like like while watching like a cartoon on the couch and like I didn't know what to say. I go, don't do that. And then the other one goes, mommy said we can't. Mommy says that's something we do in private. How come I never told? I I don't even want to do the episode. I don't want to be around. How do you think I fucking felt? I was literally calling my parents. I called my mom being like, I'm going to have a panic attack right now. I don't know what to do. Please tell me what to do in this situation. She's like, just tell them to stop. Write it out. And then just never, you're never going back there again. And she knew. The mother knew. (sighs) That is a bummer. That sounds like a bad mama. No, I mean, like. I don't think it's a bad mom. Like, I don't think she taught them how to do it. She must have if they knew what the term was. It's not like they're Googling it. Oh, well, I'm sure they had, like... I'm sure she, like, saw her kids doing that, and then she tried to, like, teach them. All right. Actually, yeah, you're right. I don't know how they would... Oh. That's young. I know. And the mom was so normal. I felt so bad. Mm. Five... Wait, four years old. You're touching yourself. Yeah, I'm all I'm I'm sad. Now. Ah, I'm wondering if we should just cut this part completely. No, it's good. It's a crazy story. That is insane. I don't. I, can someone tell a better story? Well, let me try to think. I was, let me try to think of one. I had some creepy man hit on me at the grocery store yesterday. That's oh, cool. there, it's good. Let's go. What do we got? I was. It was. I was so upset about it but then i thought let's watch this story unravel into him being a normal guy that just yeah no i swear to god where she's just begging him to. (laughs) i i was so upset when this happened but at the same time i was like i had nothing to talk about today on this podcast i was like oh this is a good story to tell um so i was like thank you sir but anyway i was minding my own business in the grocery store i was just standing in the aisle looking at my phone because i was trying to like get a mobile coupon for whatever i was getting and he just walks up out of fucking nowhere and he goes, hi. I go, hi. And he's like, H- how are you? I go, I'm good. Um, How are you? And he was like, good. Um, what are you, what are you doing? And I was like, just grocery shopping. I'm trying not to even look at him because I'm so uncomfortable. So I'm like looking at my phone and I'm like, sorry, um, I'm answering a work email. And he goes, oh. What do you do for work? I was, He's fully naked. I'm, <laughs> I was like... Hairy shoulders. <laughs> He's covered in hair. Looks like a gorilla. I was waiting for him to, like, at least be like, can I have your number or something? So I could be like, no, sorry, I have a boyfriend. But he, like... But you don't. I, I, but you never have. But I... Hold on. Hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you say when someone you don't aren't interested in is hitting on you, is what you say. No, that sucks. Dude, being a woman is a and fucking hey, nightmare. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's nightmare. Like, I almost thought it was like a setup dude. situation because he wasn't getting the point across. So I literally go, can I help you? And he was like, no, I just wanted to see how you were. I was like. Yeah, that's terrifying. I go, man. okay, it was so nice to meet you. And I just walk away. Like, what, how are you supposed to get out of that situation? I don't know. I mean, like, do you have, I mean, do you have like a pepper spray thing on you or anything like that? Yeah. I, it was pissing me off because my mom was like, I texted my mom that it happened because I was like so freaked out. And she was like. Be careful. I'm like, 
I'm grocery shopping. It's still fucking light out. Like, what do you mean, be careful? Fuck you. Like, Well, she's probably remembering when you asked an old man to meet you at the bar in front of your parents. Yeah, she's probably drawing on that experience. She's probably going, I think, I think she needs to just, like, make a few different decisions. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough, though. You're constantly in danger. I know. It's so not around us, dude. No. We got your back, M. Yeah, we're... M, we got you. We got you, M. Will did have... M, we got you. Will did have my back in front of... Uh, who was it? Tyler? Jerry? The other day? M, I, M, I want you to feel safe when you're around us. <laughs> <laughs> this is your dojo. Your mojo dojo. Yeah, but we're never going to be around each other in public because you don't invite me anywhere. Come on. Correct. Or, come on. You could put up a bat signal and I'll show up to the grocery store and I'll... Uh, what would Emily's sp- bat signal be? A cone of pepper spray shooting into the sky. Yeah. Do you actually have pepper spray, though? Yeah. Good. Ah, oh, I get worried. Estás disfrutando de mi podcast? Thanks to Babbel, I know what that means. I know what it means, too, thanks to Babbel. Do you know what it means, listener? Re- recently, I've been learning to speak Spanish with Babbel. That's something about my life. And you can, too, because with Babbel, you can start speaking a new language, like, like right away. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to use. It's so convenient, and it's helping me in real life situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it uses like real life conversational skills instead of just like textbook dictionary words. Yeah. yeah, it's all about real life conversations that you would actually be having, not just stuff you you learn out of a book. Yes, I actually used what I learned on Babbel at a restaurant recently, and the waiter who told me he speaks Spanish was. Very impressed. Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve with your pronunciation and accent. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash Friday. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash Friday. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Friday. Rules and restrictions may apply. And we're getting back into the episode. There was a Sunday morning I ordered, uh, I got Dunkin' Donuts DoorDash. You know, it comes in like the big Dunkin' Mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. Dude, the guy calls me. I see that he's approaching. I see that he's just walked up and I'm walking out and he's already calling me. He's like, yep, I'm here. I'm like, I'll be right there. And then he's shoving it underneath my door. You know how small the gate is? How is that even possible? Dude, he's just crumpling up like my coffee and shit. And I just like looked at him. He couldn't have been there for more than a second. And uh, and he just like went like this at me, like did this move. And I went, what? And he went, all right. And then just walked away. And I was like mad at him. I was like, I'm going to give this guy fucking zero stars. And then I smoked some weed and I felt really bad for him. Why'd you feel bad for him? I was like, dude, he was... I've old... seen your gate. That's insane. It was not. It was It was crazy. It's literally like this. He was like shoving it through. And it just, if anything, just hang it on the gate. I'll fucking grab it. And uh, it was like a fuck you. And then I got high and I was like, damn, this. He was, he was probably in his 60s. And I was like, he doesn't want to be spending his Sunday fucking door dashing at me. He's probably just pissed. Yeah. So I gave him five stars. Oh, you're a baby. I know. And then, and then I later on the day, I was like, "Fuck that guy!" Should give him zero stars. Should give him zero. But who cares? I do. What Help if I get that guy and he jizzes in my burger? That's gonna be because good. you didn't do your job. You'd be able to smell it. No. This guy. I looked at this guy and I was like, "This guy." I got guy's, nose blindness with jizz now because it's like this guy's come. You could smell it. Smells like chlorine. I'm guessing just by the look of his skin. Doesn't all come smell like chlorine? Yeah, I was just gonna say not to be disgusting, but like that's a fact. Clorox, specifically. It's... it's, uh, What happened? What happened? (laughs) What's happened? Dude, can we stop talking about... I brought it up, but... You're the only ones that say that word. Dude. What? I would never say that junk. Fuck, dude. We gotta stop talking about cum. Okay, do a fucking character. All right, I got one. Hit me. Okay, this is Simon Cinnamon. Ooh! Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, Simon Cinnamon on the track. Simon Cinnamon. We're reading in class, popcorn reading, and I'm blind and I don't want anyone to know. Okay. Those mine. I don't know. Yeah, they are. Careful. And the frog and the toad 
went all the way home, made some tea, and went to bed. Um, that's the end of my paragraph. I guess I'll I'll uh, I'll pop to uh, Simon. Just popping it to Simon. Huh? I'm popping it to you. You read the next paragraph. We're, oh. we're right here. If you just want to do the one right after. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Um, what? I remember what chapter were we? Chapter three. three. It's page, uh, page 41. Right on. Chapter three, page 41. Simon, you're supposed to be paying attention. Sorry? What? You're supposed to be paying attention, Simon. No. That's I, how popcorn works. You know what I had been done doing? Yeah. My, so my book had been a little different, so I just got lost, so it's like a different version. So I'll just... So bear with me if some of the words are different because like this version is different. So some of the words might be different. So just bear with me. And where where did we leave off? It was chapter three, page forty one. What was the last sentence? Because again, like my version. They drank some tea and uh, they went to bed. They drank some tea and they went to bed. Both the frogs were having nope. the tea. Sorry. That's not it. My version's a little bit different. Maybe we should just pop to someone else. No, you should keep... I actually right. bought all the same books for this class. Yours is the same. You bought all the same books for this class? <laughs> Why did you do that? That's insane. Simon, maybe just read so we can just pop same it. Same copy. It's, it's a pretty short paragraph. Why would you... The teacher has all the same versions. Why would you buy all the same versions? I am the teacher. <laughs> this is crazy. Simon, why don't you go ahead and read... <clears throat> the two for the two frogs for the tea are all the ink is all smudged dang it can I see yeah hmm? can I see yeah it's uh oh I'm sorry that looks good to me I know but I'm saying it's all glitched like these are cause these dang things are on the fritz like I must have not charged to this sh- Charged that's, it or something. That's a. That's a book. That's no. Like, I know. I'm saying like. I'm saying like nuts. I probably should have charged this dang thing. But it's like not a Kindle. That's just like a like a hardcover book. Right. What I'm saying because I'm. The tog and the frog, to, the frog and the toad, both had the tea, to drink. My little friend, the frog. Could you pour me some hot tea? I think that's the end of my paragraph. That's. Why do you have all the books? It makes sense that the the four eyed chick with braces has all the books. Freak. Yeah. Hey, we, none of us like her, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's. Uh, I don't even have braces. You yeah. you were, you were saying you gave a hand job to everyone in class? Oh, what? Oh. We're in we're in sixth grade. That's insane. Wow, that's something bad must happen to you when you're so younger. So everyone's gonna be talking about that after class. <laughs> yeah. Dude, those are... Wait, can I see those? Those are cool glasses. Can I see those for a second? Yeah, the character's over. It's been over for a couple Yeah, days. I'm going to cut my interjections. you got to keep that. You no. jackknifed it. <laughs> no, you have to keep all of those. Yeah. I was trying to play the teacher and nobody... How did you not catch along? No, I knew what you were doing, but I don't <laughs> know why... You, I, then, that's... that. You just... Je- like, he was doing... He was about to do the punchline of the character, and then you really? came in, you were like, nope, cannonball! That, nope, that's not the situation. You go, hey, I have all the books, but I have all the books. Oh, I really want to shoot myself. I don't know why I did that. It's, it's okay. okay. I'm having a tough day. No, Emily, it makes it funnier. You were right to to be involved as a teacher. It was I'm just having the, a tough time. The timing, time. The, the timing wasn't the best. Yeah, I'm having a tough day. It was. It was right at the the you know. <laughs> no, it's not even a good character. It's just I was like, how funny is blindness as a disability? It was the character. Do your character, dude. All right, I got to figure out which one I want to start with. Hold on, hold on. I got a couple here. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this one. This one's really. This one's terrible. But what we can do. Uh. We're two kids in a movie and we're hanging out on a roof. All right. Can see the whole town from up here. Yep. My this is my favorite spot to come. This is where we think about all the really important stuff in our life. I can't wait to get out of this town. I know, right? I'm not sticking around here and ending up like my old man, dude. I'll fucking die before I do that same my old man wants me to 
run the shop and you know i don't have the heart to tell him that dude next year i'm going up to new york my old man wants me to not to go to college and just work in the shop but i'm like i'm i'm like i'm going to new york i'm going to new york next year i can't i can't work in this i can't be i can't be the next mechanic and even though like all of our dads have been mechanics in town i gotta go pursue design in new york or like something like i go pursue something in the big city yeah i have to go make a quilts out of beaver skin and different rodents i find it's like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be the next i'm not gonna be the next michael jordan of fixing cars dad sorry sorry i was such a fucking disappointment had a lot of good years in this town though dude yeah You think you'll miss it? I think I will, man. I think uh, I am going to miss it. I'm going to miss some of the people, some of the memories. Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss hanging out up on this roof with you, man. Me too, dude. Sometimes I feel like I just, everything's so clear up here. Like, I feel like I'm, you know, nobody can touch me. Nobody can make me. I'm just. You're just you. Yeah. 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 What about you? Are you going to miss it? You know, I'm honestly a little distracted. Do you see that chick over, that naked chick over there has puke all over herself? Hey, she's covered in puke. She's covered in puke and blood, and she's been staring a hole in your head. She's like throwing up like stomach bile. Like there's not even any puke left. It's like she's, a yellow stomach bile. Yeah, she's scratching her belly in a way I've never seen. Oh my gosh. And her she, belly's hanging to her knee. Oh my fucking God. Is that a, I think she's giving birth. Oh. Oh. God. Oh my fucking God. Fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. Holy shit. Someone put a blanket over her. Dude. Fuck. Dude, I the feet come out first? Is that normal? Is it no. feet first? Okay, what's kind of scary is I see one leg coming out. It's like doing the splits coming out. Dude, oh my god. I think holy shit. That I that, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but that feels like it should have been a C-section. Oh god. Holy fuck. I mean, dude, that's another reason I want to get out of this town. Just you know, you see this all the time. Yeah, what's in up our, with, in our city? Why why are there so many women that just go into the woods and get naked, puke, and give birth to babies? I'm just trying to figure out if why she's covered in so many lesions all over her body. I think are those might she might have SARS. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like uh, oh fuck! It looks like she has ringworm, but like all her skin is ringworm it looks like when you find a body like three years after they died it's like decomposed for three years yeah it looks like a body that's been like in a river for a month and it's all bloated because the water got in the cells and stuff it looks cartoon there are green stink lines coming off of her it's cartoon uh, her hands are huge she has like very manly paws that's the biggest baby i've ever seen in my life that's a full-grown man coming out of her vagina jesus christ she seems oh he's, not... the, he's the kid just started walking yeah that's, that's insane a, that's a guy he's a bluetooth earpiece and what the heck he just called an uber he's getting in naked all jellied up oh she's oh, there comes another baby yep there's different that's weird a different color than that one. yeah that's strange that's you don't see that Hey! Hey, are you all right? No! She's all right. She's fine. Yeah. She's good. I'm going to miss this town, man. I'm going to miss it, man. We got to get... We got to get... Got to move on, though. Going to New York. My dad wants... Or... My dad's like, stay. I'm like, I got to go to New York. I got to go to New York. Got to go to New York. We got to go to New York. I got to go to New York. There's nothing here for us. There's nothing here for us. We got to go to New York. We got to go to New York. There's nothing here. But I don't know if I'm ready to, you know. That's the thing. It's like, I don't know if I'm ready to. Bump elbows with these city slickers. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I can be like, you know what I mean? Bumping elbows with these city City slickers. slickers. Yeah. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. And my dad's like, get off the roof. I want you to work at the shop. He's like, come over. Wake up and come. My mom's like, I used to, my mom's like, I'll miss you, but you should go to New York. My dad's like, you should, like, stay around, help me out. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, I got to go to, I have to go to New York and um, elbows with these city slickers. Yeah. This is the longest character I've ever. 
Can you speak English? The pregnant woman's talking now, like fully. Yeah. Why are feet so massive? I don't know. Like clown shoes. Yeah. Our toenails are all yellow, too. Ugh. Oh, fuck. She has, why is she just six rows of teeth? Ooh. Ooh, that's like a shark. Mm. You know, she's got those teeth that just like come out of the top of the gums. Yeah. You know, those freaky little fucking kids that have those? Yeah. God, that's gross. She's gross. Also, I, I don't know if you noticed, but the first kid that popped out mm-hmm. has already fully aged and died. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's... He's purple. Are you an angel? Yes. Are you one of God's little angels? Are you one of God's angels? Come down to... Are you one of God's little angels? What is going on? Are you one of God's little little angels? Are you one of God's little angels? Yes. <gasps> can I grant a wish? Yes. Are you going to have a wish? Maybe. Depends. Yeah. Classic, classic ending to the bit. Wow, I wish I'd known that sooner. Do I have three? So we have three wishes each. <laughs> God, I can't believe I got to gotta go to New York soon. Ready for a callback? I wish I had my sight back. Oh, I can still see, but the acid that melted my skin is covering my eyes. So I can I just see black still. Yeah. So I can see, but the skin grafted itself over. Hmm. Could be like a darede- daredevil. You could be like daredevil. We're going to have to Frankenstein this episode. Yeah, it was a real piece of shit. What the actual fuck just happened? That was good. That you was mean good. the character? Yeah, what was that? What I don't know. You're the one that... Look at me and in disgust, and that was the whole point? You were the yeah. one that started giving birth. That's You made that turn, not us. You did that. You guys weren't you did looking that. at me. You were, like, looking below. You did that. You, like, I couldn't tell. Because I was looking were, at like, the baby coming out of your vagina. Yeah. That's disgusting. I know. I know. That's why you, why'd why'd you take the fucking character there. It was disgusting. We were doing our own, like, funny, like, making fun of movie thing. And then you took it to... Right. Can I do my impression of Emily doing that character? Yeah. All right, do the birth thing. I literally is you, is wasn't that, even reacting. Is that someone... Is that a woman No, birth? I'm not. I'm an Uber driver, and I'm waiting to pick someone up. I thought it was, like, a woman giving birth. Looks no, like. I'm an Uber driver, and I have a big uh, ray gun. I have a ray gun. That's a person giving birth i think it's a woman no making... that's not a person giving birth that's a statue i guess i'll pop no this. can't do that because you are chained to the ground you're stuck there i no, a bomb went off and you're dead now okay when we do a live show are you just gonna jackknife the characters there no because that's pretty funny what if this is how the live Should show I? goes are we in trouble uh, <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I think everybody's having fun. I think that's at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day. Uh, yeah, we're just having a good time. All right, I'll, I'll do another one. No, I don't want to get copyright. It's, right. it's not copyright. Are you sure? Yep. Your name is Jack Clegus, an outlaw in the Old West, a.k.a. the Red-Bellied Black Snake. My name is Billy Under. Lawman, and I'm hunting for you for a bounty. And I see you walk out of a saloon. Well, well, well. If it isn't Jack Cleavis, the red bellied black snake. If it isn't Billy Law, Billy Under. What do you want? You know you aren't going. You aren't going to get me. I'm taking you in, <laughs> alive or dead. You know which one it's going to be. Come, draw. What you did to those kids in that schoolhouse. What? You're going to burn for an eternity. Well, what schoolhouse? You lit a schoolhouse on fire with all the babies in it. That was that was collateral damage. You really think that was me? I know it was you. The red belly black snake. 
In... Bang. Ah. Bang. Ah. Put your fingers. Put your fingers in my mouth. Okay. Put all your fingers in my mouth. Okay. I. Get your fingers out of my mouth. What? What happened? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Aren't you gonna arrest me? I'm the law, man. Bang. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna take that somewhere. <laughs> what is in the water today? What happened? I I don't know. I don't know what happened. Was there? Did you have an angle? No, I thought I would find. Oh one. fuck! I thought that I was supposed to just wait for you to do the thing. I had nothing. The inciting. Incident. I was really hoping you'd bring me down an avenue. I. But so I thought that I was a straight man there. <sighs> no, usually I'll never get. I'll never like. No. You were that was you were the red belly black snake. I know, but you were Billy Under. I'm the lawman. Yeah, but you were the lawman in the in the night sketch when you killed yourself. Well, that's another one where I didn't know what to do, so I committed suicide. But it, it was something. It was something. I mean, you, I put your fingers in my mouth and stuff. That's something. Okay, I need. I'm gonna pee my pants. Go pee. Go pee. All right, I gotta read. We'll this. talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, we gotta figure out something. To talk we gotta about. do. We gotta figure out something. She's gonna be pissed. Mm-hmm. We had a big meeting yesterday with Emily where she was like, try harder. And then we showed up today and it was like, I did. I, dude, I couldn't crack a fucking character last night. Oh. Yeah, mine was just like, uh, my guy's blind. <laughs> <laughs> like the laziest is the laziest thing of all time. Yeah, I mean. I mean just, it was just ableist at the end of the day. My character just like, I put your fingers in my mouth and I spit them out. Well, I would say that it wasn't even. I just, I, I, I really was waiting for you to tell me what, where to go. No, that was one of the ones where I was like Jack Cleegus, the Red Belly Black Snake. That's something. Billy under the Law Man. There's when when those two titans collide. I, I, I imagined that something would happen, but nothing did. Oh, I did too. But I didn't know that I was <laughs> supposed to. Ah, uh, hey gang, our bad. We'll be all right. Your thighs are looking hairy. You got to shave those things, dude. I don't feel comfortable talking to you when Emily's not in the room. You want me to wax those? I, I don't feel comfortable talking to you when Emily's not in the room. It just kind of feels like we're talking behind her back. I can't wait for Halloween. Yeah? I'm already feeling the Halloween spirit creeping in on me. I'm thinking about pumpkins and barns and uh, leaves, piles of leaves and uh, hay rides and... Uh, I can't wait to rewatch Over the Garden Wall. Corn fields, corn... Uh, corn mazes. Corn mazes. I can't wait for it. Uh, every white guy from the age of 23 to 27 dress up as the driving crooner. Yep. And go around, oh, fuck, fuck, they're going to make it look fake. And every, every TikTok is going to be a guy to party doing that. I like those, though. Yeah, I do, too, but uh, it's really going to be annoying. Yeah, it might get a little bit annoying. Um... Emily, do you have any? Uh, are you are you getting excited for the Halloween season yet? What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know. What should I be? How many people do you think are going to be half Barbie, half Oppenheimer? Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. Damn it! Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck. That's going to really upset me. Oh, oh fuck! Fuck! Oh fuck! Or a couple's costume, one oh, Barbie, one oh, Oppenheimer. Fuck. Dude, when I was a kid. Oh fuck! In like fourth grade, one of my classmates clearly dressed up by his dad. Army shirt, mm -hmm. bullet holes all over his chest, sign around his neck, Dick Cheney's hunting buddy. <laughs> he was like what? nine years old. Yeah, what the fuck? That's a good dad thing, though. Yes, sending him off to school. It's awesome. One of the worst moments I had as a child during Halloween was, first of all, I had never watched Star Wars in my life. Who's but that? I wanted to dress as Darth Vader. And I went out dressed as Darth Vader, and some boy in my class was wearing the exact same costume. And I hated myself after that. Why? I don't want to be dressed the same as a boy in my class. I dressed like it's a boy. Darth Vader. <laughs> Sorry? Nothing. I was going to make a joke. 
I was going to say you're dressed as a boy right now, but I'm kidding. It's a nice romper. I was a ninja every year. I was the same thing every year for like 10 years. I was, uh, I was the, I was a black ninja and black ninja outfit. And my buddy was the, my buddy, Matt was the red ninja and we were ninjas until we were like 12. My girlfriend went as Mace Windu one year. Really? Yep. Huh. And... Well, she didn't, she just went, she it was a purple lightsaber. That was the only, she bought the Jedi robes and the purple lightsaber. That, but when she first told me that, I went, really? Mace Windu? She was like, yeah. And I was like, what was your costume? No, I didn't do blackface. I was like, yeah, that's obviously what I was getting at. Yeah. She just did black hands. She just did the hands. She just did everything but the face. Yeah. No, she didn't. I had the Mace Windu toy sword. I also had the Count Dooku sword. Did you say toy sword? Saber. Sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) Two girls I know, I think I told you, but they dressed up as Celtics players when they were in third grade. Oh, you did tell me this. Did blackface. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's in their yearbook. Right. Well, it's, that bo- it's Boston. Fun. It was Walpole. It was Boston. Walpole is, uh, yeah. Walpole, oh, definitely... Walpole gets down like that. Can we just scrap this entire episode? Why feed, would we do that? Feed it to the birds. Feed it feed to the it birds to the that I brought to... Call back. Call back. Wait. wait, wait. Call back season. Wait, wait. wait, let me let me get on. Oh, wait. Let me send you this video. Don't you have a third character? Oh, yeah. Let me send you this real quick, though. A second character. Yeah, that's fair. You have a you that, have a second character. It makes me feel so good when you guys tank on your characters because it gives me so much room for. Yeah, it makes us feel really good too. Play that TikTok I just saying, please. This is actually the worst episode uh, we've ever done. We'll let the folks at home decide, but it, in my opinion, yeah, this has been rough. In my opinion, this is like unusable. No, well, might as well. What the fuck is going <laughs> on here? Might as well. All right, and if we could stop for a second, I want to say to you, you have a very cute, soft, like a girly voice. Thank you. A lot of people say the reason people have girly voices is something bad happened to them at that age. Were you touched at an early age, or were you fine? That's the creepiest question I've ever heard, and no, but it's so inappropriate, it's not even funny. Well, I had a girlfriend once that talked like that, and it turned out six years old. It was horrible. No, I don't want to talk about this. Okay, we don't have to talk about that, no. but I do want to talk. Can we, can we talk about the fact? What? Who is that? I, the creepiest human being to ever live. Please, please do some research. Who is that? Yeah. I bet it wouldn't be too easy to find. Let's see. Let's see what the comments are saying. It was a Fox News host. Fox News host. Someone said, is that South Side Steve? Is that a joke? Another person said that. South Side Steve? Oh, pe- if he's doing a character, that'd be nuts. But the ponytail on that man, I mean, I've already... If you're in public and you see a group of guys with ponytails, you you walk across oh, the street. What is this man? What's his story? Look him up. Let's get him, let's get let's get to know him. Landed a morning show at Classic Hits Fox FM. Oh, so he works for Fox. That was a pretty crazy thing to say from Southside Steve. That was nuts. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I've been thinking about that for a day. BetMGM. You know we get all of our Pick. money and picks from BetMGM. It's the best app to use. It's the best sports gambling app. Interface is easy. Super easy to use. And I they, don't want to be hyperbolic, but I'm literally a fucking billionaire from BetMGM. It's it's quite literally the best. And somehow we still have this promo deal going on where if you use promo code BEERS with the BetMGM app, you can get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first bet. Just sign up with promo code BEERS and you just get a free $1,000 on your first bet. Just bet whatever you want. Why wouldn't you do I don't, that? Do you want to- Three thousand dollars, or are you like a freaking like the Mister Monopoly man, Mister Peanut? You freaking rich, don't yeah, you? Yeah, what you made out of cash? Take that silver spoon out of your mouth and sign up with promo code Beers. Hey, but you got to be twenty one years of age or older, and you got to be doing it in a state where sports betting is legalized. Okay, be responsible, have some fun, and if you do ever ever get into any uh, you know addiction issues, uh, help is available. Have fun. Let's get back into the episode. This one, this one's real fun. Not to just do like full cringe compilation but let's do it no that's exactly what i want to do all right let's do it fuck it so for the audio only listeners uh this is an adult man and he's holding a harley quinn toy doll and uh this is the audio i'm gonna just take you into my room and fart all over your face later and it's gonna be delicious oh the camera was on. The whole time. 
This is who came up to Emily at the store. Yeah. And he's doing that smile. That's exactly what it felt like. I guess he's not hurting anyone, but he probably is. You know what I mean? I'm going to fart on you, and it's going to be delicious. I know. Oh. Let's see what else I got in here. I got some other cool... Dude, I got a, a slideshow of uh, cool pictures of werewolves. I'll show you later. DM me if you want the uh, video, but it's cool. The amount of people that DM'd us with 9-11 birthdays was it's insane. Awesome. I know. It's fucking we, awesome. I want you to shout you guys out. We support you. We'll be here. Let's do. You. Let's throw a 9/11 birthday party. I think we should. De- like just give everyone the limelight they deserve, just once, and then we can go back to. S- you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we could just throw a party for Willie D. Oh, oh yeah. Good you know point. those parties like. Sorry. You know those parties like Ryan the leader went to is like the Ryan party. Yeah. We should do one for 9/11 birthdays. Yeah. Anyone who has a birthday on 9/11, we host it. I think that'd be really fun, and a good way to celebrate without with remembering. And we could be, yeah, we could do celebrate it. Celebrate with. We could do it in a. We could honor it. Only people born on two thousand one, though. Those, those, those are the VIP passes. Yeah, those are like the holographics. Yeah, like the shiny Pokemon. Was Chet supposed to come on? Oh shit! Well, Chet's gonna save us. Well, I think he's gone. All right, so Chester Collins this weekend. Yeah, this is great. Have you heard this, Emily? No. Wait, what happened? Tune into this tale. This is it's, a funny one. It's a classic. Classic. So, oh, I did hear something happened to him, and people were talking about it, but I didn't know what it was. Chester took uh, the ferry to Catalina on Friday, Catalina Island with Powers Bros. Shout out, Empty Netters. And uh, apparently they got real, uh, like us, drunk as skunks, and uh, there was not enough beds in the Airbnb, so Chet mm-hmm. was sleeping on a couch on the front porch he also said that night he got them kicked out of that bar true uh for he, being too drunk he, he said he wouldn't put a sh- he said he was dancing without his shoes on and the bouncer said put your shoes back on and he refused he was like I, it, it, it's not happening yeah but anyway so he's sleeping on this couch outside he wakes up probably a little bit uh confused on his whereabouts walks over to the balcony and there's houses below it it's on top of the hill and he starts uh urinating off off the balcony. Oh no! And he's like eyes closed. This is at like four a.m. Yeah. I think he wakes up in the middle of urinating. Yeah, he's half asleep, and he just wakes up to a guy below him who Chet's piss is hitting his roof and dribbling down to his front porch. And the guy's like, "Not cool, man. Hey, man, not. Hey, man, not cool, man. That's not cool, man." And then Chet just was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, sorry," and then falls back asleep, wakes up. Uh, vaguely remembers that. Tells, Unsure if it's real. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said it was. It could have been a dream at that yeah. point. Tells people. Everyone's like, "Oh, that's pretty funny." Then he gets on a ferry. He's leaving Catalina Island to come back here, and he gets a text from the group chat that everyone was in, and the text says, "We're getting kicked out of our Airbnb. Somebody pissed on the neighbor last night." And. Chet, Chet got it as he was just like, the ferry was pulling off the island. And so he got this text like he just ruined everyone's weekend. <laughs> he ruined everyone's like nice Catalina Island weekend. Meanwhile, everyone else he's with is in their 30s. They're like a proper adults. And he's pulling out and just <laughs> watching the island burn behind he's him. Watching, he's watching the mushroom cloud of the nuclear bomb in the horizon. Yeah, apparently it wasn't good. I think they they told him, "Oh, don't worry about it, man. We figured it out." But apparently, it was a it was a it was a big ordeal. When did you hear that? Huh? I got I got some inside sources on it. Apparently, it was a bigger deal than. Oh, it was no. it was not good. It was bad. Did I, they salvage the weekend? They got to stay. Chet had to pay five hundred dollars uh, as a fine, but there were there were still some some things that happened. I but, mean, I've definitely woken up like pissing on a wall what? and not realizing. I wasn't peeing in the toilet, so I get it, but that is just so unfortunate. I told you uh, one time I got drunk and I woke up on my couch and my dad was getting, like, making a coffee. It was like five in the morning. He was leaving for work. Yeah. And I just, he was like, go upstairs to your bed. Why are you down here? And I got up and I just started peeing into the trash can in my kitchen. And it wasn't like, oh, I don't know. I had to pee. I thought for 30 seconds, I was like, people pee in the trash can. That's where you pee. And my dad was just like, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, I, well, I don't know. And then he got in the trash can and rolled around like Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. 
wouldn't come out. Yeah. It's picking up yogurt cups with a little drip in it. Mm-hmm. Nah, I can't. Yeah. No, come on. Just kidding. Just kidding. My father doesn't do that. And Emily, you pooped on the street once, right? Yeah. You, yep. you didn't wipe your butt? And that is actually true. My time um, she got here today. What? I did wipe my butt, though. Similar story to Chet's thing, though. Just like the one of my buddies was in a, a condo, a ski condo up in like New Hampshire, wherever. And uh, he was drunk and he was he peed off the back balcony of a condo directly down onto another dude in another condo. And the dude was like, I'm going to come up there and fucking kill all of you. And he ran upstairs and was banging on the door. And pe- Getting peed on. I don't know. Have you ever been peed on? Um, no. <laughs> I've accidentally... I No, I actually haven't. I accidentally peed on my dog a couple times because when I would get home from football practice in high school, I would take my dog on a walk and I would just pee outside because I'm already outside. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes, like, my dog would just run under my stream of piss. And I'd if, if, I feel like after the first time it would happen, I'd figure out how to make sure that never happened again. Yeah. You would think. You would think. And then you're out there, you're just, like, looking at the moon. And then you're like, why don't... <laughs> that's, my no, piss. that's insane. It's only It only happened, like, twice. No, it happened more than that. You know it. No. No, you're backpedaling now. No, who's the real guy backpedaling? I'm not fucking backpedaling. I told I, everyone's I, gonna watch this episode and remember that and f- and forget about everything else. <sighs> well, I peed on my dog, and it happened a couple of times. And you know what I did? I was like, "That's just on you now." Mm-hmm. I would watch her go back inside and just sit. Oh <laughs> no! Jump on the couch. I didn't clean it. Oh man, I, I'm trying to think if I've ever been pissed on by a man. My friend would do a funny bit in college when we're like at a urinal or like I was in like the stall next to him where he'd pee on my shoes. That is fun. And it was pretty fucking funny. That is fun. And it was funny. It was always funny. I was always so mad because like I just got pissed on. But peeing on your buddy's shoes is fucking hilarious. I would do it back sometimes. I Getting s- your buddy. I saw a Reddit thread. I think it was Am I the Asshole, which is like the most toxic subreddit ever and everyone on there is a loser. But it was at the top of Reddit yesterday and it was like, this guy complaining, like, am I a bad person for breaking up with my girlfriend? She told all of her friends that she pisses on my face. And then you click on it, and you're like, oh, she was, like, making up this stuff. That's annoying. And he's like, yeah, so she's been, like, pissing onto my face, and uh, she's been pissing into my mouth. And uh, she told all of her friends about it, and I said we should keep that private. This guy's 19. I'm not going to kink shame, but I don't think you can get mad at your girlfriend if, if you're having – that's a big ask. Like if, well, if you're actually doing it, then no, it's not a big ask. Because you're actually the girl's actually the one peeing on the guy. Yeah, he's not asking to piss on her. No, 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 I know. He's saying, can you piss into my mouth? I think she has. So every... if she's accepting that offer and she's doing it, I think. And she... no offense, but like she's part just as much part of it. Yeah, she, but it, I think she's got just... every right to tell her gal friends about it. You know what I mean? It is I, odd, though. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's odd. It's not normal. Getting pissed on is by it's not. I don't no, think I think I I I think both of them. It's like, holy shit! When I read that, I just went, "Your life is." Well, how does that like? How does I don't know how any of that shit works. How, I don't get how you get to get your wires fried. Like why don't wire, I? Wire, I don't wires want all crisscrossed. Where you get peed on, you go. That's it. That's what I need. Yeah. Is it like? I don't know. I, I yeah I I don't know I. I, if I was if I was doing that, I wouldn't want to tell any. I, I wouldn't want anyone to know that my boyfriend enjoys that. That's embarrassing on her end too. That she's doing it, he's into it, and they're doing it together. Like fucking and mind your own business. It's not as bad as poop play, but yeah. Okay, but poop play is at least you can be intelligent about it. Mm-hmm. Why? You, no, I'm just saying you can be sanitary and like healthy and safe with poop play. Right. You've seen that video of that guy that got arrested because he was climbing in uh, porta potties. No, no. Yeah, he was hiding. Google this. It's a real story. Oh no! A man was oh. climbing into Colorado peeper who hid in tank of portable toilet to spy on women. Uh, sentenced to three years in prison. That seems like not enough, but that's him. Oh man, that's him. Accused potty peeper. Ugh. Hey, my, uh, Will Angus's high school yearbook superlative. 
Imagine being the cop that has to arrest this fucking guy covered in piss and shit. Imagine being the person that it, you're ha- it's happening to him and you go, I got to probably call the cops. Yeah. Imagine you're just a, a woman taking a dump at like a fucking Counting Crows concert and then there's just a, a man. Well, he wasn't, he wasn't eating people's poop. He was just staring at it, it said. Well, he said he was I bet he, perv on female yoga enthusiasts. I bet he accidentally ate a little bit of the poop. How do you come back from being at a festival and being the guy that got so high he's like in <laughs> in the porta potties? Look at the, look at the face. Look at the face. <laughs> oh, I feel bad, dude. Do you? I don't know. I don't. I feel bad in general. One time in eighth grade, uh, we were during like it was during TV class, and there was a wasp's nest in the uh, porta potty, and we sent one of our buddies in, and then we locked him in there at the wasp's nest. We we're like, film the wasp nest. That's fucked up. I'm just kidding. How, I believe it, though. You aren't kidding. <laughs> Not happened. <laughs> you fucking psycho, dude. Well, All right, guys. That's the episode. Sorry, it's a short one. Or was I, it? Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming back each and every week. And please, please look out for our live show that most of you probably already know the date for, considering I accidentally forgot to bleep it my mouth out. Why was it a secret in the first place? Well, because it, w- it was an official lies. Oh, gotcha. No one's going to want to come after this episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I want to cry. Sorry. Bye. 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 Bye.